glimmer of magic in the darkest night. The sword is drawn for the endless night. everyone and I'm back again with another side um, side by side comparison and today we're going to look at the Night Stalker Night Stalker the 1980s Mattel and the Maddie Club by Mattel so we have some obvious differences first off we can see the packaging is different if you saw my um comparison of the battle cat and of the stridor i showed the stridor was a super seven but the box was exactly like this maddie club here and the um battle cat was a maddie club and it was exactly like this night stalker it just was a smaller box no artwork and they have this big window box so that is the obvious difference when we look at this figure also, the size is not an illusion. The Maddie Club Stride, um, Night Stalker is obviously bigger than the 1980s. So in 1980, they gave us some nice artwork. And we see Skeletor riding on Night Stalker. Night Stalker, I don't remember him ever being in the cartoon at all and what does it say half war horse half fighting machine night stalker carries skeletor into combat and this is new because they want us to buy this and we see um skeletor we have mechanic and we have he-man and what's that in the background looks like uh it looks like um, Snake Mountain in the background. Okay, let's look at the back. Okay, and of course the back is, is there to sell us things. And they're selling us the Castle Grayskull, the um, Point Dread, the um, Snake Mountain Road Ripper, Dragon Walker, Attack Track, Rotan, Pat, Panthor, um, Stridor. What is that other one? Oh, the Battle Ram. And then we have some hero heroes and some evil villains. And on Night Stalker, Night Stalker didn't come with a file card. Normally, if you remember seeing the Battle Cat, he had a file card. And the action figures have file cards that tell you their origin. But I guess because he's a mechanical being, they didn't feel like they needed to tell us his origin. So we got some heroes and we got some villains. No, we don't have any heroes. I'm sorry. These are all villains on the back of uh on the back of Night Stalker. They're all villains. Okay, let's get it turned around again. And that's about it for um for this one. Night Stalker didn't get a lot of love, I don't think. In the 80s or with the Maddie Club because he wasn't too big of a character. He wasn't he wasn't shown. Like I said, I really don't remember him in the cartoon at all. But if you're trying to fill out or begin a Masters of the Universe set, this would be a good one to put in there. Now, the 80s version is going to cost a little more. I have not looked up the Maddie Club Night Stalker in a long time because I have it already. So I haven't looked up the price but when I did buy it, it, it was a few years ago. It was pre-COVID. It was fairly reasonable 
it was, you know, um, I think it was under a hundred dollars. With prices now, I'm not sure. Um, so you might want to look it up. So far, Mattel has not made one for Origins. They may, they've made the Strider for Origins. So hopefully we get a Night Stalker to add to the collection. But um, this is what we have. Um, let's see what's inside. He comes fully armored. He got his weapons attached. It's not much that comes with him. You know, he comes with his armor and his weapons are attached. That's basically it. It's not a lot to this figure. Um, you can put your loose figures on him so that they could ride. But um, other than that, this is it for the Night Stalker. But it is a nice figure. It is nice, um, and it does add to your collection. So, hopefully, again, you're liking these little segments. Just want to remind people what's out there as far as Masters of the Universe. Um, because, again, I get a lot of questions of people that want to start a Masters of the Universe collection. And they all, always ask, um, where do I start? Because it is a very extensive line. That has been restarted and restarted and restarted. Um, like I said before, you do have the 80s. You have He-Man the new, uh, from the 90s, the new adventures of He-Man. You have 200X, which came out in the early 2000s. That's a nice line. I have a lot of figures from that line. That's a nice one. The one thing I do like about that, some, not all, some of the action figures have a totally different mold, so they look different, especially He-Man. They did a better job, I think, with the um, with the action figures because they gave them a different look, and they look pretty good. Also, the cartoon is pretty good. So if you ever see the cartoon 200X on uh, YouTube, it's pretty good. It's a nice storyline. You got more of a storyline than you did with the... Um, filmation from the 80s um, also you have the super seven super seven had a line of figures but they only had one animal and no vehicles so it's all action figures you had the maddie club you had the filmation and now you have the origins and the masterverse so it's a lot for people to consider and it can get overwhelming but just take your time Look for one. Look at all of them and see which one that you like the best. And also see which one fits your budget the best. So again, thank you for um, taking the time out and spending it with me for these few minutes to look at another great figure from Masters of the Universe, Night Stalker. <laughs>